signature, which deserved. Man who single-handedly was responsible for a riot at Comiskey Park. Uh, you don't want to be known no, as a riot. No, I'm ashamed of myself. No, don't. Be. It's not you. It's the people who ran out on that field that should take the responsibility. I took blame. As a matter of fact, I went home and uh, after the. Uh, alleged riot and I went back home to Los Angeles to my mom's house and had her spank me soundly for two weeks and you I enjoyed it. it too right yeah I enjoyed well, it I and so did she <laughs> and she's now suing my father for divorce and we're getting married in about three weeks and I'm kind of proud to make the announcement here on the show <laughs> what kind of people do I hate here? I got this guy coming on here saying he, you know I got this guy over here why do you hate this why do you hate disco so much well I can't find a can I take this off sure I feel silly sitting here it's, the only, right it's the only reason we brought you here so you know if you want to take it off well I do look good in uniform and I know you like guys in uniform and <laughs> That's right. That's right. Like that you know one. my name this is this is kind of uh, what a pass it on. coincidental my my real name is spam and I changed it to Steve Dahl yeah. and your name is meatloaf and of course, that's not your real name, and you changed your real name to Meatloaf. It's kind of coincidental. Spam. See, that's a meat product, and it comes in a loaf. You're on a roll. It's a little smaller. Yeah. Good, Steve. Let's talk I about, thought about Chicago. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I thought about calling myself Turkey Frank for a while and nah. change it to Steve Dahl. I hate disco because I can't find a white three-piece suit that fits me off the rack that hangs well, and uh, you got to have one of those. Reason, that's exactly the same reason that I dislike disco. And I'm allergic exactly. to gold jewelry, oh, see, and I don't I'm like allergic. pina coladas. I'm allergic to coconut. So, mm -hmm. what does it uh, hold for me? Probably nothing. <laughs> nothing. I can't dance. One leg is shorter than the other. I. Uh, he's ha see. He's I, had a worse childhood than me. Have, have <laughs> one you, leg shorter than the other. One. Have you had lunch with Bill Paley recently? <laughs> <laughs> no. no, I've had lunch with Bill Veck recently, though. Oh, the guy who uh, runs the team out right? there in Chicago. Yeah, yeah, he was pretty upset with me. And he beat me about the face, too, for a while. And he has a wooden leg. And that didn't... Uh, Weren't you amazed that uh, 50,000 people turned out to uh, vent their venom on disco records that oh, night? Oh, yes. Yeah, we thought we'd probably get 20 or 30,000, actually. Yeah. And uh, there were enough security people there to handle that many. But uh, they were too crazed, and there were too many of them, and that's where the problems really... Uh, yeah. Occurred. Well, listen, it's not record what we business was good that week. Yeah. <laughs> they sold like ninety thousand. Yeah, the record companies they complain to me. They Chicago. say, Steve, what are you doing? You're destroying the industry. I said, No, I'm not. They buy rock and roll records, and now they buy disco records too to blow them up. They love it. As a matter of fact, I have some here tonight. I thought we could. Would you like to break one with me? Can we do this? You can do anything you want, Steve. I got to. No, I like Saturday staying alive. Fever. I, say, I can't help it. I like staying alive. Oh, come on. No, you can't, can't say that. So you can't like any of it. No, I, got, I, I like staying alive. What You're going to you? hurt your rock and roll record sales. No, no. I'm, I like Steve, staying alive. Staying alive. The courage is great of your team. convictions. Remove that record from Meatloaf's hands yeah, and here, smash it into a million it. pieces. Right. Go ahead, break it. Get it out of your system now, Steve. These guys are friends of mine. You're in trouble. These guys are friends oh, no, of mine. You're in trouble. The village people, they're friends of mine. And I did, listen, her real name is Gaines. You know that? I did hair with her sister Linda. I mean, how Wait a second. Hold it. Is that a brand new record hold it this is 12.95 come on well, i got a receipt here i need to talk to somebody about this too is this a production expense but i, I mean, can there get are a lot of people for? who would like to have this record we don't want to just break it into a million Fred, pieces there are kids Fred. in india that want Bee Gees records i know i've seen that sally they, struthers yeah, talks yeah. about yeah. it oh, they send your disco records to india she yeah they, the they trade them for food there yeah. <laughs> uh, it's i i do it right on my head it's very simple it's just a there uh, and actually you know what to Get serious for a second so the entire country doesn't think I'm a raving idiot. <laughs> <laughs> My parents are watching tonight. Really? It's, it's not so much the music that I dislike. It's actually the culture. And, and we're a rock and roll station. The Loop is in Chicago. It's uh, true. Hardcore rock and roll station. And it's actually quite intimidating to... Uh, uh, to our audience, to myself, to most rock and rollers, because you have to look perfect. Your hair has to be beautiful. And I you sure you don't want to do I, one? I, I did. I mean, I, I mm. did, you know. Would you like to do one? No, you thanks. Know, I you know, don't. you can use the helmet. It doesn't hurt. No, no, I don't. Do you know what like Ted Nugent said? Uh, la I saw Ted Nugent last Saturday. You know what he said about it? He said he was glad for disco because it kept him away from his concerts. <laughs> says, These guys don't come close to me, boy. They stay away from me. Well, it's actually gotten out of proportion, you know, because uh, New York, the media centers in Los Angeles are so into it now. And the trendy ad men go down to Studio 54 and uh, put on try a dress and, and say, hi, let's have a good time. Uh, sailor? <laughs> pretend they're Margaret Trudeau. <laughs> and, uh, I did that once. It worked. Yeah? Yeah, I pretend I was that Kate Smith. Been me. That might have been me. That might have been me. I went through the Studio 54 singing, God bless America. You know who Ethel Merman has a disco album out now? Yeah. It's very interesting to hear him. Alexander's uh, ragtime band, Disco. Annie, get your gun, Disco. Yeah, yeah. I got all it's that good. stuff. It's good stuff. But anyway, it's intimidating. We're just trying to put it back in perspective. It's not that important. I don't want to see Margaret Trudeau's face 
anymore on the cover of anything with her little see-through dress on, you know, or Ally McGraw, and she doesn't have a bra on, and I'm not interested, you know? You know, they get, they, they get time, you know. Ally McGraw and now Margaret Trudeau will have to get equal time over this. He asked me to do that. What, equal time? To get him on. <laughs> oh, okay. What is insane coho lips? Oh, that's drug-inspired. You were talking about drugs? Let's talk about them. I don't experiment with them because I don't need to experiment anymore. I know exactly what I'm doing with them now. It's all, it's taken care of. Oh, yeah, one of those, one of those. In Chicago, they have a gang, they have a gang, a street gang. Several, yeah. Called the Insane Unknowns, which I think is an interesting name for a Mexican street gang. You know, somehow in a cosmic uh, flash, they thought, insane unknowns. Let's be that. And I took the insane from them, the coho from coho salmon in uh, Lake Michigan, and lips because... Everybody's got them. Yeah, yeah, that too. And it means nothing but uh, we are the insane coho lips. That's the anti-disco army. That's what we call ourselves okay. in Chicago. Right. Now, what is this thing you do with the helium? We had some... I bought you some helium tonight. I know, I appreciate it. All that. right, can you, can you do that for me with the, uh, where you do the BGs? Yeah, we have it down here, I think, much like a, we could pass we this around and I... <laughs> <laughs> I swear, some guy right now at home, I, I swear they were stuff. passing a hookah around on the Tomorrow Show. <laughs> what is going on? I stopped on? doing that in 69, <laughs> like, you know, after I opened to Hendrix, I really did. You yeah, know. sped it's, all me day. Me and Hendrix were backstage doing this stuff once, <laughs> and we were really out there. <laughs> no fooling? I'm kidding, Tom. Oh, I'm, I never joke, know with you. Well, you get very lightheaded from this. <laughs> all right, I... Oh, <laughs> excuse me. Okay. Am I, Go ahead and give me some money. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that sounds good. Okay. I need a little bit more in here. I just wanted to test it. I will now do. I'm sure you would like to do. Whoa. Well, I'm seeing God. And he looks like you see blue? He looks like you see any blue? You yeah, see a little blue? He looks like you. It's very depressing. 62. Well, you can tell by the way I use my walk, I'm a Chinese cook. <laughs> what do you think? I can't, would you, I try No, 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 no. Hey, no, no, no. Oh, no. No, no. Uh, listen, I'll blow Hey, let's get away. some little finger want? sandwiches now. I'm real hungry. That makes me hungry. So that's what we oh, do. Is that we, it? That's the whole thing. That's tune? the end of it? You don't do the Bee Gees? You know, well, that was the Bee Gees. You can tell by the way I walk, I'm a Chinese cook. What's, ver right. what's the second line? Well, I don't know. I'll do more if you want. Oh, yeah, give me more. But I can't do too much at one time as I'll pass out here. That's okay. <laughs> That's okay. No, I'm already... The show's almost over. Already you, go down, you go down, you go down. It'll be great. It'll, for all. it'll be great. If you're going to go out, go out on TV. Exactly. Man. I mean, go Chicago. out. You know? Hey, listen, let me ask you a question. Yeah. Do you want to go out on an FM station in Chicago? If you're going to go, pal, you might as well go on 175 big ones coast to coast. That's you're right. right. All right, here right we go. Here, show here time. Go. I got, but I am in a lot of trouble in Chicago. I got, they have a <laughs> state fair there, Chicago Fest, like a state fair for Chicago. I walk in, I'm just enjoying myself eating beef on a stick, you know, and walking around. <laughs> and the police see me. The corn dog. Steve Dahl, and they came, no, it wasn't, it was uh, teriyaki. It was oh, that stuff. Steve Dahl, they came and kicked don't me do that. No, if it makes you funny, don't do it anymore. I don't want you to hurt yourself. I really I'll do don't. one more quick. No, don't hurt yourself. Promise. Let me. him do one I'm more. I'm addicted to it, okay? I'm going to be honest with you. I've been off this stuff for three months. I do one it once. It's, it's all time. over, you know? You one time. Me back well, that's it. Hey, and I suppose you're going to sell me the second take, you know, yeah. right? You're going to sell me it for 50 Hurry, I got five seconds. We're going to take it out of the street. How deep is your love? How deep is your love? I really need to know. Well, we'll all be saying goodnight now for the NBC. We'll all be saying... <laughs> it's really... Oh, you see a little boy? I don't believe it. My thanks to Meatloaf. My thanks to Stan Dahl, uh, Steve Dahl. Never, never, never wants to watch the theater. Whoopi! Thank you all for you watching, watching. Good night, everybody, from New York City. <laughs> While in New York, guests of The Tomorrow Show stayed at the elegant St. Moritz Hotel on Central Park South, near major corporate headquarters, Fifth Avenue Shopping, and the theater district. Hotel accommodations furnished in exchange for this announcement. Tomorrow on Today, Jane Pauley talks with the newest child...